I'm Anna Sandoval. I provide art therapy, which can be particularly helpful to people recovering from trauma, such as domestic violence or sexual assault. Uh, you don't need to be artistically inclined at all to do art therapy. Art therapy is not about teaching how to become an artist. Art therapy is about teaching the client how to express from within. By doing art therapy, uh, you get to do, you get to feel, you get to see. So when they come here and I offer them the opportunity and the environment to try to express themselves uh, in, in a very safe and natural way, they are very relieved. When you are really facing serious challenges like depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, loss and grief, and serious trauma, art in therapy can be very powerful in that uh, a trained clinical art therapist can really enhance the process of healing and there is no addiction into the arts <laughs> it's a good addiction yes. i heard that there was this new art therapy really am interested in it because that would be awesome to learn a new thing i just don't know what it is because i can't even draw a stick figure so but that's definitely something that i'm glad i didn't let hold me back because it doesn't matter if you can draw a stick figure with art therapy at all with anna everything is so subconscious and it is your body is bringing it out i can't sit down with anna in art therapy and say oh i only want to get into this today i would like to protect my heart from this i can't really do that because it's like no we're we're gonna do the work today and we're gonna find out what's going on with you you're learning tools that you can utilize on your own when you're going through things you can have somebody tell you something all day, just like with any situation, but when you come to that conclusion on your own, there's a very big difference. And that's kind of what art therapy does. It's so visualistic that it helps you make that complete circle yourself. It's a wonderful thing. It's like opening a whole new part of your brain, honestly. I use a variety of media, which can include paint or markers, paper or canvas, or creating three-dimensional objects. The exercise that I want to share with you now is bowl breaking, which is a very powerful and cathartic process. The symbolism of the bowl breaking has to do with uh, uh, pieces of the bowl being shattered. That's what happens when somebody uh, is experiencing trauma. The self breaks in many pieces. So the symbolism is very accurate because the bowl breaks and therefore we have pieces that have to be uh, put together in order to be uh, healed back into a wholesome object, which in this case is the bowl. So the pieces are there and uh, the client is instructed to look at the pieces and, and keep them in their hands uh, because it gives them a sensorial kind of experience. Uh, the pieces are colored uh, from the outside and then also they are written on in the inside so that the client can express uh, what the particular piece uh, means as far as uh, the recollection of the trauma. The bowl project was something that um, it's very interesting to visually see pieces of your life that represent something to you that may be broken, but when you put, it's so much harder to put it together than you would think, <laughs> but you have to be patient. And, and when you're putting it together, it ends up being this beautiful thing, this broken, but beautiful thing that is all these pieces of you. It can be nobody else's, it's, it's you. When I hit it with a hammer, I was picturing different times of my life that I felt like I had been hit with a hammer. When you put that back together, you feel that too. It was a wonderful feeling because it, it brought me a little bit to, to my faith as far as broken into beautiful and what I believe and and how broken things truly can be beautiful and I gotta do the work when it's all said and done. There's a whole other world out there that I did not see because I was so shut 
in somebody else's world that they created for me. And that's just one example of something that I wouldn't have experienced had this not happened. Again, it's piecing it back together and, and the fear of the unknown and, and not knowing where you're going. And then at the end, again, maybe it's my faith tells me that it's going to be okay. Broken will be beautiful. And all of these pieces were made and molded specifically for a reason.